Hi, this is Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel. I have some traveler's notebooks to share with you today. These are vintage seaside beach type um, ocean type journals. They're a traveler's notebook standard size, so four and a quarter by eight and a half. I have three of the, there's five total. Three go in my shop. And then, let me see here. Um, this one that says playful. This one goes to one of my subscribers um, as a thank you for some some um, things she sent in the mail for me and everything. So this is kind of, uh, it's a little bit longer and it's a little bit more simplified inside, but it's gorgeous. So, and there's a little lobster hanging right there. So that one goes to her. And then I have one here um, for a swap as well. This one, Seaside. I have a swap with Joanne and we're doing, um, she's making, she made me a traveler's notebook and so I decided to make her one. She said she lives in Florida and likes sea life and nature. So I did kind of a vintage beach. I love this fabric and I have to thank Angela for the fabric. She heard I was looking for scraps. She doesn't um, even know me personally or she hadn't even been a subscriber to my channel, but she sent me a whole box of scraps for free and I used this fabric. So thank you, Angela. Um, I don't know if you watch, will watch this or not, but thank you. So this is a little fabric tassel that I made in a little seashell charm and then it says seaside and there's two ladies there on the beach and I'm not going to go through this one I'll let it be a surprise for Joanne I'll go through the ones in the um, store because they're all very similar so we'll set that one aside so these are the three going in my shop there's horizon shoreline and marine so let's whoa I am dropping everything <laughs> that's my backdrop there okay so let's start with marine. Um, each of them have a closure that comes totally off so you can put this into a traveler's notebook. The closure on this one, so this was like a wide seam binding and then I stitched this kind of wave-like stitching and then it's reminiscent of a snippet roll. It's just different types of laces and trims that um, are like blue and remind me of the ocean or nets or, you know, vintage seaside type. So that's the closure for this one. And then the backdrop is a vintage typewriter book page and there's the little word and there's a little crab on this one. And there's, you can see the shells, and that's what the cover looks like. On the inside, it's lined with this wood paper, as well as a strip of the fabric here and a little bit here. Um, each of the books have one of these vintage 1902 um, book plates that I found online, and they're printed off. And then also book pages, paper ribbons. I did circle stenciling on coffee dyed paper to look like bubbles. And then um, I have a new collection in my um, shop for ephemera called Washed Ashore. And all of these little ones, I'll try to pull them, at, um, point them out. You should see quite a few of them. Um, they're all part of that collection, like these little turtles. And then um, I've done some inking using Distress Stain. Here's a little shell I put on there. This is from Dreams Etc. And then we have an index card. This is from my new kit, Washed Ashore. And this is from a game, but it says the South Pacific Ocean. Here's some like seaweed stamping. This is from my kit too, Barrier Reef Anemones. And then this is from a book. It's got shells on it and I just made a tag. Then vintage typewriter paper. Here's a vintage flashcard. And then this is from Digital Collage Club. I just put that nine takeaway nine equals a seashell. <laughs> but um, more inking. And then this little bottle -o's dolphin is from my new kit as well. Um, this is from Dreams Etc. And then this is this is from my kit. Or yeah, pack, I guess, ephemera pack. There's a little shell bead and some lace. This is from my ephemera pack as well. And then on this scrapbook paper, I have a paper ribbon. These are K&Company Company borders, so they're waves, and then a shell from Digital Collage Club. And then this uh, fish here, this is in my ephemera pack. My boys are having fun in the background, you can hear them. 
this is dreams etc and I just made a pocket and then scrapbook um, paper journal card with a button and then I just did some digital stamping as well from Graphics Fairy and Old Design Shop. This is from a book on underwater sea animals and geography. And then a little a piece of ephemera from my new kit. This one too. And here's some more of that wave border. And then this is part of the border from the Can Company too. It's another border and then there's some digital stamping. That's from my new ephemera pack, as well as this octopus. And I put it on this um, time card that I had got from Junk That Treasures a while back when they were still open. And then I made a little tag tuck spot. This is from my ephemera pack as well. This is today's magazine for women from 1915. And there's little kids and a dog at the beach. A little mini paper ribbon. This is from Digital Collage Club. Um, some digital stamping in the background and then a lace pocket with this is from my new ephemera pack this is from that book just added that in here a little piece of lace cut to look like a wave and then a book page this is about crabs here and then this is what the back looks like there are gold book corners golden book corners so this one is called marine now I will show you the next one, Horizon. So here's Horizon. You have this cute little vintage couple at the beach. She's standing on a rock. So this one's Horizon. It has this like orange seam binding closure that comes off so you can put it in a traveler's notebook cover. Again, the same um, fabric, but look at that seahorse on the back. I just love that. And then I did a bow out of the polka dot fabric, and this one has a starfish. And it's very similar in size, so I'll go a little faster and just point out any differences. Like these little mini tags here come from Digital Collage Club. They're sea dreaming. And then I just put little Tim Holtz numbers, like maybe they're specimen numbers or something like that. This I colored. This is from the Johanna or... Yeah, Joanna Bassford um, Lost Ocean Coloring Book. This is all done by hand. I, I did all this. This is the original, and it's just backed with some scrapbook paper. That's for my ephemera pack, Washed Ashore. I cut these out of the ocean book, Why is the Sea Salty? Which Oceans Cover the Earth and How Much Water Do the Oceans Hold? And I stitched them onto lace and put them on here. And then I did an artistic jellyfish using some blue lace and then inking and colored pencils to make the tentacles. And then here's a little um, seahorse from my new ephemera pack. This is a Dreams Etc. part of a Dreams Etc. card and I added a digital collage club seashell. So I like to add elements from different places. This is a um, from a National Geographic um, game. And then a little double tag here. And then I did some inking and added a vintage seahorse. Or actually this is not vintage. This is from that book. That ocean book I'm cutting apart. As well as this paper. And more of that wave. Digital Collage Club. That's from my ephemera pack. This was from that ocean book. So just this is from Above Par Crafts. It's a blue library card. I think this is the last blue one I have. And then the World of Plankton from that book. That's from my ephemera pack. And then there's a little dangle there on that paper clip. This is just from a Michael's Hot Buy pad. It was like a mermaid one from a year or two ago. That's from my ephemera pack. Some digital stamping. That's, did I do the same? Uh, this one's in this book twice, so you'll have an extra one to put somewhere. And then a vo vocabulary card. And then that's from my ephemera pack. Digital stamping. That's from that mermaid book. This is from that mermaid book. I just cut it off and I added a little um, vintage clam. Or It's from Digital Collage Club. And then I added like a little rhinestone to make the pearl. And then that's from my ephemera pack. And then beach bookmark. This is a starfish paper and that's Horizon. And then one more, we have Shoreline. So this one has this um, pale peachy pink, almost off-white pink lace closure. That vintage couple in a boat and then there's an octopus charm. 
and there's a seahorse on the back of this one as well. So here's the inside. There's like beach umbrellas, the library um, thing, jellyfish. From my ephemera pack, there's a little shell up there. Just This is from James, etc. I added an eyelet and some ribbon. And then we have Dreams Etc. Ticket. It's like a ocean ship ticket. A little bit of paper. And from my ephemera pack, these are starfish. The ephemera pack has 45 images. I'm um, trying to work on making all my packs now have 45. That's from it as well. So you're probably not seeing all of them, but they're very much like this. This is from my kit, and then I added the sticker all wet. This is James, etc., and I made a little booklet. This is coffee dyed paper. Um, it's a marbled coffee dye. I added some antelope brown artist ink to the water, and you really only get um, one or two good marble poles before um, it just becomes brown. But I thought that was so pretty, so I added it in here, and it said it's a passenger log book. So that's in there. It's a little shell. That's from my ephemera pack. Digital stamping. This is from my pack and a big tag. This is a Tim Holtz saying, she wanted no reminder of realities and responsibilities, which I thought was good if you're going to the beach. And then another little digital collage club tag, Sea Dreaming. This is from that book, Baby Turtles. And then I just used a Dollar Tree um, playing card. And then Tim Holtz, I had a lovely time and I cut out a wave for the top little booklet and then in here this is in my pack as well and I just added like a little Tim Holtz clear tile over one of the little starfish so that's hiding in that little bag and then some turtles this is in my pack so is this and then these um, little index graph index card more of that hand coloring that coloring I did and then a little ticket thing and then clipped in here is a journal card and I just added some lace and a shell bead and I just kind of have it ugh, everything is falling again I am so sorry guys mm. the white backdrop helps the light um, bounce to my work but if it falls down it <laughs> winds up on my work so that's fun and there's the end of that one so I hope you enjoyed them the link is below to order them from my shop. I had so much fun making them. They were a lot of fun, especially using this fabric as my inspiration and as, um, you know, the basis and my starting point. The Washed Ashore Digital Ephemera Pack is available in cut and inked version or the uncut version, just like my other packs, same price and everything. So have a lovely day.